Stop, because God has a special message just for you today. So pay close attention until the end. There's someone out there who couldn't keep a lid on it any longer and spilled all the beans about you. Every secret, every detail, laid bare for the world to see. And guess what? It's got the big guy upstairs shouting open it immediately. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this revelation. It's about to get real. Hey there, beloved listener. Last night, someone may have spoken hurtful words about you, questioning your worth and belittling your dreams. But here's the important truth. Those words don't define you or determine your value. God wants you to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made with a purpose that surpasses any opinion others may hold. In life's intricate tapestry, we often encounter moments where others' words threaten to unravel our self-worth. Whether out of jealousy, misunderstanding, or their own insecurities, people may speak ill of us. Yet, it's crucial to remember that our identity isn't shaped by fleeting judgments, but by God's unwavering love and purpose for us. Take a moment to declare, I claim my worth in God's eyes, affirming your commitment to embrace God's vision for your life, despite any negativity. God sees the potential in you, even when others may not. He recognizes the dreams and aspirations within your heart, along with the goodness residing in your soul. The negativity of others cannot dim your light unless you allow it to. Affirm, I choose to embrace God's vision for my life, signifying your determination to rise above discouragement and pursue your dreams with resilience. Life is a journey filled with both triumphs and tribulations. Along the way, people may not understand your path or may try to discourage you. Nevertheless, God's message for you today is one of encouragement and resilience. Affirm, I am resilient in God's love, acknowledging your ability to overcome challenges with strength and grace. Last night's hurtful words may have caused pain, but today is a new day, a day to rise above negativity and embrace the truth of God's love and purpose for your life. Declare, I receive God's love and embrace my destiny, opening your heart to the abundance of blessings and purpose awaiting you. As you affirm these declarations, you're not only claiming God's promises, but reinforcing your belief in the limitless potential within you. God's message empowers you, reminding you of your strength, endurance, and capacity to shine brightly, even in the darkest moments. As you journey through life's complexities, remember that every challenge is an opportunity for growth, and God is with you every step of the way, guiding and empowering you to become the person He created you to be key. Trust in God's guidance and embrace your journey with confidence in His divine plan unfolding in your life. In conclusion, dear listener, God's message for you today is one of love, purpose, and resilience. You are not defined by the words spoken against you, but by the truth God declares over you. So, express gratitude for this uplifting message and embrace your divine identity with confidence, knowing that you are never alone on this journey. God is by your side, guiding you and showering you with his boundless love. Embrace the message he has for you today, and may it inspire and empower you to live a life filled with purpose, joy, and the unwavering knowledge of your worth in his eyes. Hello, beautiful soul. By taking a moment to receive God's message, you've embarked on a journey of embracing your true identity. Let's delve deeper into the transformative impact of God's words on your life. Life unfolds in chapters, each with its twists and turns. In those moments, 
Remember that God's love is a constant force, anchoring your life amidst the chaos. Affirm your connection to his unwavering love. Your dreams are not accidental, they are divinely inspired. Commit to embracing your God-given dreams and walking toward your purpose. In life's relationships, some uplift while others challenge. Lean on God's love for solace and seek forgiveness and reconciliation in times of strife. God's message guides not only grand revelations, but also daily choices. Commit to walking in alignment with his principles, drawing closer to his promises with each step. Trials refine and strengthen your character. Declare your resilience and trust in God's grace to emerge victorious. In pursuing your dreams, you may face skepticism and opposition. Seek God's approval above all else, rooted in his unconditional love. As you embrace God's message, recognize your role as a co-creator of your destiny. Walk with courage, radiate love, and live in the fullness of your divine identity. In conclusion, dear friend, God's message ignites transformation, empowerment, and love in your life. You are defined by his truth and purpose, destined for greatness in his eyes. Embrace this incredible journey with readiness, knowing you are cherished and capable in his boundless love. Here are some direct words and a promise from the Father. This message holds ancient wisdom, giving you the keys to unlock the secrets of your soul. The Father says today, I have equipped you to unseat the powers of hell, ranged against your family and those close to you. Turn your attention away from outward distractions and look towards the hearth of your home, for it is a sacred furnace where bonds are forged and souls refined. In the tapestry of my creation, there's no thread more intricately woven than the tie between husband and wife, parents and children, brothers and sisters. It's a covenant forged by my hand, beloved, etched in love and etched in responsibility. A promise carried through laughter and tears. This covenant demands vigilance. Just as I shielded my son, Jesus, that he did not dash his foot against a stone, you too must stand as a shelter against the storms of life for your children, with the angels standing ready to assist and bring deliverance from on high, when your loved ones and those closest to you are in jeopardy. Be their wall against fear, their lighthouse in darkness, their guiding star when choices are clouded. Offer not just your provisions, but your presence, your unwavering faith, your steady hand. Your home is not just a roof and walls, but a sanctuary built on the pillars of care and concern. Let love breathe within its every corner, not just the sugary sweetness, but the tough love that mends and guides. Be the compass that points them north, the anvil that tempers their steel, the gentle breeze that whispers wisdom in their ear. Ever bear in mind that in this dance of nurturing, you too are partners. Lean on one another as fellow pilgrims on this sacred path. Together, build a fortress of faith, a haven of support where each can weather the trials and celebrate the victories. Let your love for each other be a beacon, an echo of the unwavering love I hold for all my children. But don't be fooled, my children. This journey is not without thorns. There will be times of misunderstanding, moments of frustration, and days where shadows threaten to eclipse the light. In these moments, remember that you are not alone. My hand is upon you, my spirit a guiding flame. Seek me in prayer, in the quiet corners of your home, in the shared laughter around the table. Let my words weave your burdens into tapestries of grace. Let my love mend the seams where tears have fallen. Go forth, my children, and tend to the garden of your family. 
as I commanded Adam, be both a T-E-N-D-A-R and a K-E-E-P-E of that garden of domesticity you call home. Nurture its love, tend its needs, and watch it blossom into a testament to the covenant we share. And if ever you falter, if ever your path seems lost, remember you have the prophets and my called and ordained men and women in your midst. Let my voice be the voice that guides you back home, the light that shines when darkness looms, the reminder that in the embrace of family, you are never truly alone. Now go and build, rebuild, and restore your home upon the bedrock of love, responsibility, and unwavering faith. Go and be the family I created you to be. The Father says today, My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path, illuminating the way in which you should go in the proper timing. You will not cast your fruit before its time, neither will you lag behind, for I am aligning you with those that you are to link arms with as your family and tribe. Even if you feel very alone, there is a place for you in this repositioning. You don't have to try to figure it out or go in search of those people. I know how to get through to you. Your willingness opens the door and your obedience makes a way for you to walk into the destiny that is unfolding before you. There is not a reason to allow the doubts to cloud your thinking. The moment you recognize it, cast it out. It no longer has a place in you. You are destined to think my thoughts and you have the ability to distinguish those that aren't and refuse them. A newfound peace will encompass your heart as I guide you through the open doors placed before you. My word will continually be behind you, saying this is the way, walk in it. New doors, new opportunities, things you had never considered before suddenly make sense. New freedom and joy you didn't realize were possible is springing up for you even now. I am not nearly as disappointed in everything as many think. Yes, my highest desire is that all would be saved, and that is a disappointment that not all will. However, I know the end from the beginning. I know how this thing ends and I win, because I get you. The devil doesn't have you, the devil has no more power over you than you give him through your words, thoughts and actions. If you refuse what he's dishing out, he'll go find someone else to bother. The Father says today, enter into the place of no opinion. Follow my leading and listen to my voice as your only option. Choose to have no opinion about the consequences of obedience to my voice. I will confirm and confirm again the decisions you are to make. Leave the outcome to me. Choose to have no opinion about the consequences of obedience to my voice. I will never lead you into destruction and never leave you standing empty-handed. Though others may look on thinking you will not overcome, that is not the outcome I have in store. When you listen to my voice and obey my directions, you will always come to the more than you can ask or think end result. I came that you might have life and life more abundantly. That is the underlying purpose in all that I am doing in your life. Make it your determination to seek my face and to cooperate with my word and with my words. There is no famine of my word in the earth, but there is a famine of hearing my word. You have not fully heard my word until you ascertain what is expected of you and implement it in your life. My kingdom doesn't come with observation. You must do something. Standing and passively looking on is the most subtle form of deception. Be a doer. What you do with what I have already said is much more powerful than what you are waiting for me to do or say. The answer for you is not waiting on the next thing I might say to you, but rather implementing, radically implementing in your life obedience to what I have already said more than once through many sources, says the Father. It is time to act and in the doing of my word, your promise will be made manifest. 
The Father says today, no word of prophecy is of private interpretation. My word is personal to you, but it is not private. When you hear a word given to another, and it causes your heart to leap, as the babe in Elizabeth's belly take it for yourself, gestate that word and nurture that word. I will cause it to be in your life, even as it was intended in blessing its original recipient. That isn't the way things have been taught, but know this, I am not a mighty wizard lurking behind a wall of levers and buttons. I am the Almighty One who gave heaven's best to redeem you and bring you out of many waters. My highest and best is yours by the bequest of the shed blood of Calvary. I am not looking for reason to deny you. My eye is not open to search the earth for some disqualifying factor by which I will not answer. I am a prayer answering God and my first and default response to you is yes. Let yes be your first and default response to me. Let your yes and my yes rejoice together. Let full surrender to my spirit and my will be the posture with which you meet every day. Approach every challenge with abandonment and complete trust, knowing that I am with you and I will never leave you or forsake you. I am going before you to drive out the enemy, even before he can threaten you in any way. There are so many perils and pitfalls, you never even knew I protected you from beloved. I watch over every footfall of your path, lest you dash your foot against a stone. I am with you, and I will be with you every step of the way, as we walk the path together into the fulfillment of all that I have promised. The Father says today, not every voice speaking over you originates with me. Learn to distinguish my certain sound, says the Father. Learn to distinguish my certain sound over you that brings cleansing, peace and contentment of spirit. I will content you with my voice. The voice that comes to distort and disrupt is not my voice, says the Father. All of my paths, all of my paths are peace. When you seek peace and ensue peace, you are seeking my kingdom. My kingdom is righteousness, joy and peace. And in my peace, every other voice is quenched to stillness. This is the stillness that waits. Enter into the stillness that waits for my voice. My voice is the voice that speaks in the silence between your own thoughts. There are those who run from silence and not for one moment will ever choose to be in silence or in solitude before me. Never let that be your choice, for in quietness and rest, you will find consolation and composure that is denied to those who cannot get quiet before me. It has been a long, long road, says the Father. There have been many twists and turns, and at times you felt as though you lost your way. But I was always there. I was, and I am always there to correct, to cleanse, to adjust your thinking to ever bring you closer to me. Be that one, that one child of heaven, who hungers for my courts above all else. For there you will find fulfillment and fullness beyond anything that the world has to offer. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us. 
an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, he grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide, His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us, and as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question. It's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we are always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. 
Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering his wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, 
fighting for us and through him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance, but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the rock of ages, the King of kings, and Lord of lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement, binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, 
hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.